morning, everyone. Today I'm going to show you a reading strategy called the SFA, the Semantic Feature Analysis Strategy, which is pretty fancy. What it means is, before we start reading a nonfiction article or articles, you're going to look at our SFA chart. And you're going to see that I've taken the two things that we're going to read about. We're reading about sea lions and sea lizards, and our sea lizards are the iguanas. And I've made a whole list of features about them, things that are attributes, things they have. So if you look at your paper, you can read along with me. Live only in the water, cold-blooded. Hearts beat more slowly underwater to save oxygen. Harmless to people, can't breathe underwater four or more feet long, warm-blooded, see well underwater, eat algae, and have blubber to keep warm. Now, some of these, the sea lion has. Some of these are talking about the sea lizard. Some of them, both of those creatures have. So I know you haven't read anything about them yet, but I want you to think about what you might already know about sea lions and iguanas or sea lizards. And would you please check off under the category, under the animal that you think has that. So do the first one with me. They live only in the water. Does a sea lion live only in the water? If you think they do, you put a check there. If a sea lizard lives only in the water, you put a check there. If you think they both live only in the water, you put two checks. Now the good news is, if you don't get it right and we read something in the lesson, you can go back and change your answer. So this is like the best guess that you can make right now. Okay, go to the next one. Cold-blooded. Is the sea lion cold-blooded? Is the sea lizard cold-blooded? Okay, go ahead, read the rest, and check them off on your own. When you're done, flip your paper upside down. Yes. Um, can, do, we have to, do you have to check it or if you don't think any of them have Great question. If you don't think either of them have them, no checks for that part. <clears throat> Well, 
you're going to try to remember as much as you can about the sea lion. You might see in here that it says it's warm-blooded or cold-blooded. You're going to try to remember that. And then after we're done reading, I'm going to give you time to go back and adjust any answers that you need. Are you ready? Okay. Partner B. Amazing. See those sea lions. Okay. Yes. Questions? Finding the 
evidence to really show why you were changing an answer or why you were keeping an answer. We're going to do the same thing now with your sea lizard article. So take your sea lizard article out. And you'll notice it looks like it has a few more pages, but there's really not a lot on each page. Your pages are numbered. So here's your job. I'll wait till everyone's listening. You know how it went with the sea lions. So you're going to partner me with your sea lizard. And this time, you can keep your chart right next to it. And you can find the evidence to keep or change your answers as you go through it. If you can, mark them in here. Because when we go over this at the end of the class, I might be looking for that evidence for you to look back to. So it'll be really handy if you know exactly where to turn to. Questions? OK, right, ready? Go. Okay, okay, so hold, hold this. Hold the crap. It's 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 the Sure, on the lava rocks. 
So you can use your picture clues there too. Very nice. When you get down to the cold-blooded part, we have sea lizards that are cold-blooded. Very quickly, put your finger on the piece of text in the sea lizard article that tells us this.